Hey, this is Whitney. And Jessica. And we are going to try something new here today. We're mixing things up and we're going to be doing these um, demo videos together. Um, we thought that we'd offer two, both of our perspectives on uh, what, we'll, what we'll be talking about today. And hopefully this will be a really good thing. Yes, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so getting started with our next lecture on painting, which is really more on brushes than painting, and you'll see that as we start the lecture. Um, the next lecture topic we'll, we will cover in Art 1280 is painting with brushes. There are many ways brushes can be used while editing in Photoshop. Immediately, you probably picture hand-painted portraits and landscapes, but brushes are used for so much more. They allow Photoshop users to personalize a variety of tools as they are applied to a design, and oftentimes brushes are used not only to apply paint, but rather to blend, retouch, smooth, or even replace image elements. Our main goal for this lecture is to ensure all students taking this class are comfortable choosing and adjusting brush settings, including the size, texture, and color. In addition, we will experiment with three forms of painting. The first is liter literal painting, where you will have the opportunity to paint with colors and textures to create a unique composition. The second is to create the look of a painted image without having to paint it in its in its entirety using the mixer brush tool. The third is using brushes for retouching and layer masks. If you enjoy this lesson and would like to learn more about painting in Photoshop, we recommend taking Art 2480 Digital Painting. It's an entire course dedicated to digital painting using Photoshop. The learning objectives that we'll cover for this lecture uh, include the ability to find and select brush tools, to learn how to adjust brush tool settings in a variety of ways, including size, color, texture, form, and edge softness, understanding what brush presets are, where to find them, and how to create them, identifying some basic techniques for turning an image into a painting, and experimenting with techniques used to paint, from, paint an image from scratch. So let's get started with this lecture by talking about the various ways in which the brush tool can be used in Photoshop. As we previously mentioned, most people would assume using the brush tool means painting an image, but it can be used for so much more than just painting. Uh, painting occurs when users paint, blend, retouch, smooth, or combine images. Anytime a Photoshop user wants to have personal control over how the effect he or she is trying to apply to an image, they can do so using a brush and their own strokes to paint the effect onto the image. Photoshop tools use a brush in combination with the effect they are associated with, associated with include, but are not limited to, the brush tool, mixer tool, eraser tool, history brush tool, pencil tool, clone stamp tool, pattern stamp tool, art history brush tool, blur tool, sharpen tool, smudge tool, dodge tool, burn tool, refined edge brush tool, and I think that's... So, Just about it. So basically like every tool. <laughs> every tool. <laughs> because of the freeform nature of brushes, it is often easier to achieve the look you are aiming for by using a stylus. A stylus is a pen-like device that can be used to paint or draw on a tablet, which translates your brush strokes from the tablet to the computer screen. You can achieve a more personalized look and feel when using a stylus. We don't require students use a stylus or a tablet in Art1280, but if you plan to pursue a career in illustration, digital painting, or animation, it might be a good idea to get to get one, if you're going to take that Art 2480 class, a digital painting, you'll be in a classroom that uses the stylus and the tablet, and so you might want to take that first and see how you like it before you purchase one. In order to adjust brush settings, uh, you must first select a brush, and then, and the brush tool is probably the best place to get started. It is located on the tools panel, which is usually hanging out on the left side of your screen. It's about halfway down and looks like a paintbrush. In fact, many, many people call it the paintbrush and not by its actual name, the brush tool. We are going to focus on the brush tool for the next few slides, but it is important not to forget that there are many tools in Photoshop that use a brush. The same settings and features are available on many of the brushes we listed on the previous slide. Let's take a second and jump to Photoshop and find the brush tool. Once you have the brush tool selected, you can begin painting on the image area to see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Photoshop for a minute. Um, I've done a couple things before I got here, and if you'd like to follow along with my settings, I'll show you them right now. First, we talked about workspaces in Chapter 5. If you go to the Window menu, Workspace, I've reset my workspace to Painting. It changes which panels are on the screen so you can see more brush options. And then I created a new document, choosing File New, 
and then in the new document dialog box because I was going to paint something I chose art and illustration and I just chose the first option I created a 100 by 100 pixel square that's going to use uh, an artboard and it has 300 uh, ppi resolution once we get to Photoshop you want to, if I can grab this, you want to select the paintbrush tool. The paintbrush tool is on your tools panel, which is usually on the left side of the screen. And if you zoom in, uh, depending on what version of Photoshop you have, um, it's maybe about a third to half of the way down the tools panel. And you can select the brush. Uh, we talked about earlier in the semester how the tools are in all different places depending on what version of Photoshop you have. And so you might have to look around for it. It may not be in the same spot it is on my screen. Once you have it, you can now start painting, but it's important to know where the color comes from. And if I start painting right now, it almost looks like nothing is happening. That's because the foreground color at the very bottom of my tools panel is white with a purple background. If I was to switch this and start painting, the stroke or the path that I'm creating when I paint will be purple. And so if you start to paint and you don't see anything, change that color. Just double click on the foreground color, change it to the color that you want, and then you can keep painting. And once you get to the point where you can find the paintbrush and you can paint with color, you can move on to our next video.